What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. So it is gonna be an amazing day for myself here. We have the Baden Boosted S550 over here. We also have the Cobra right here. And we're gonna go ahead and pick up the new and beautiful 2024 Dark Horse this morning. Now, if you don't know, I did go manual, so I'm definitely gonna miss doing this every time I go into the car. So again, hit you guys with the cold start right early in the morning. All right, so we're just pulling up to the dealership right now. I gotta go ahead and flip it. Uh, basically, they did say that the car should be in the front. So I'm kind of hoping it is. Uh, they are doing the drop off here with some other vehicles. There she is. Woo! So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the bagged and boosted one right next to it. Dude, this thing looks insane. The color is just popping and it just looks 10 times better because it's mine. I actually been seeing a couple of these that are ripped and I'm really glad that mine is not ripped and we're gonna be able to try to walk out with it. So MSRP is gonna put us at 68. So hopefully we can try to walk out with that. So the guy pulled up right now. I'll probably see it when I, cause I watched the videos and stuff. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> oh my God. So not talking smack, but this is the first thing I noticed just from other videos as well. The keys, they're literally almost pretty much the same thing. Uh, the difference really is the fact that this one has the auto start, but again, still super stoked. It's like 10 miles for testing. Sometimes oh, there it is. Oh, the pump? <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> sorry, I thought I said that, my bad. I was like, hell. Oh. dollars and 81 cents 15.3 gallons so again that's the first fill up straight from ford uh so hopefully we don't get it that low ever again but with that being said if we do that's a that's a lot that's a big chunk of change to fill up a car i ain't gonna lie So literally next day, still haven't unwrapped everything. You go ahead and see the inside. Uh, however, I did take stuff out of the trunk just to put down the weather mat that we got with the car. Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and pick up a wheel for the Red Sport and then we'll go ahead and take this back on home. But it's funny, as soon as I pick this thing up, it's already gonna go ahead and start putting work in. I like the color. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, gonna be a zoo. Ah, guys, put on the Recaros. Oh, no, no. <laughs> let, me see if I, let me see if I have anything. So, we were able to fit one back there. About to have to put the second one on Recaros. Luckily, they're wrapping it right now with the trash bag so it doesn't get everything dirty. Sheesh, but now it's 24 hours. It's already a, it's already a parts runner at this point. So, safety first. I'm about to put the seatbelt on so that way this thing doesn't go flying. So it is actually later on the day. Yesterday I actually had to head out to work. However, I was able to have the day off. Luckily, just kind of matched up this way. Uh, so I'm able to go ahead and look over the dark horses a little bit more. Again, I'm not seeing any imperfections really at all. This car, it just looks so damn beautiful, especially with the sun, how it's hitting it and how the color is just kind of reflecting off of it. I'm super, super happy. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this stuff off later in a separate video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, again, because everything is still wrapped up and honestly, I think that's like one of the best parts about getting a new car and being the first owner is that you can go ahead and peel off all the stuff. So I definitely going to save this for obvious reasons, but for sure, like peeling off that big old screen over there that you can see it's all kind of covered in whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull that off and exposing these beautiful Recaros that are underneath here. So I just got back from Fresno. I just pulled the wheel out. Luckily, uh, it was all good to go. It, again, it was like a 30 minute drive. Uh, there's no damage here. Everything's fine. The Recaros are safe. Uh, but we did have to pretty much use it as a parts runner already off of the rip. And we have the other Infinity wheel over here. 
And while we're on the subject and while we're talking about it, I will go ahead and just show you all what I'm talking about. So we do have the 2004 SVT Cobra still right there. <laughs> Uh, but this wheel over here decided to get cracked. Um, it was basically a hairline crack that ended up spreading uh, So we're gonna go ahead and have to get a replacement. So tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving So I know I definitely want to be thankful for however uh, Basically tomorrow we're gonna be able to have all the cars together and uh, I cannot wait to make some videos with all of them together So before this video finally comes to an end, I wanted to make sure that we got all the cars together just for this video's purpose. You can go ahead and see we have all of them all parked out in the front now. So let's go ahead and just look at them over. So obviously this is the premiere of the 2024 Dark Horse. And beside the Dark Horse, we have a 20 years difference right here of a 2004 SCT Cobra. So literally 20 years apart, which is actually pretty cool because we have this color shifting wrap. And then we also have the color shifting paint over here from the dark horse and moving on over here we have the 2011 shelby gt500 which this one currently has a vmp gen 3r on it and i gotta say owning that dark horse is literally like these two were put together and even coming down to the recaros literally like i said it, it really feels like it's both of those together and last but certainly not least is the family car the 2017 q50 red sport uh, honestly i love it it's been a fun car, but to be honest, I'm not really sure how long this one's gonna stay with us. I don't really plan on getting rid of it anytime soon. However, it's definitely one of those cars where it could be opted out at any point compared to some of these other ones, which like that one may stay here forever. This one may stay here forever as well. But like I said, I really just wanted to end this particular video with all the cars so that way we can go out to see all of them and they all pretty much get to meet the dark horse. So definitely stay tuned. And again, if you're not yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing because obviously there's a lot of content here and there's a lot of content planned. A lot of stuff's going to happen to that one. We have a few plans for this one as well. Honestly, this one just needs to get buttoned up a little more, but this thing is already insane. I really don't know what else you can do to it. But Estrella pretty much daily this one since I'm going to be dailying that one for a while. And then obviously these are the really the weekend cars. But I will say, if you're not yet following me on TikTok, definitely follow me on there because honestly, that is where I post a lot more. And before I completely end this video off, I have to give a huge shout out again to Unleash Motorsports. But that is going to go ahead and be it. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I loved creating this. This has been an amazing experience and I love to be able to share it with you guys. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Ow.